program. So the local currency is actually holding its own against the US dollar and in an environment where we see a very strong dollar, uh, the Naira is uh, very stable at this stage. Um, hi, Elena. Thanks for having me. Like you said, yeah, the, uh, the Naira is actually holding its gain against um, the US dollar. Um, for the past three, three trading section, I think um, on a closing ba basis, I think Naira has gained at 0.15% uh, over the uh, from the start of the week to the close of today. Um, interesting player, the way liquidity has come in on the FX window. Um, we'll have um, a couple of oil inflows coming in. Um, on the average for most of the week, most of the trading days for this month, we've seen a play of liquidity from the oil. Oil be just coming in at some um, regular interval. And um, that has uh, supported the, uh, the Naira, the currency, at um, a certain level. And um, on the back of the fact that today you have another CBN auction also, um, overall, we see um, a, fair, a fair, fairly stable uh, market for range for the currency for now. Yeah. Okay, so now, boys, I mean, when you look at what investors have been doing, and it seems that banking stocks are amongst uh, top picks uh, that we saw for 2011, and then we're also starting to see a massive shift into the debt market because of the high yields that are offered within the space. Are you expecting this to continue? Um, well, um, for now, it's actually a bit um, too early to, um, to um, gauge um, how frequently or the frequency of the flows um, so far so, so from, um, from, from uh, a couple of auctions that has happened in the past. You've seen um, some huge, huge flows coming to the currency in the market front. Like you said, the yields are attractive. Um, I think we're beginning to see a bit of stability on the yields front. I think m some other people might want to watch to see if there is no rebound on the yields to know if, okay, we've seen some stability that might um, denote a peak and we might see further decline on the yields. yields. So you might but um, for now, begin to see a wait and see approach in terms of flows on on that yeah. on the on the fixed income sp uh, space. For now, um, if you take a look at um, the last treasury auction, it was a, it was really a mix. But overall, it was um, a bit stable, and um, I think from the from the trade trade traders' angle, we see some um, gradual decline. So, um, it if I if I st stay now, it might give a pointer to say, okay, yes, we might begin to see interpreted to uh, um, mean that a peak on the rates have occurred but um, most most watchers will want to see what the how the CBI will respond to the um, inflation that has increased during the uh, period between their MPC meeting not forgetting that we have a meeting to uh, coming up sometime next yeah. week okay so um, and uh, those, given the fact the that we've, we've got that meeting next week that MPC meeting next week so what are we expecting uh, because as you mentioned inflation is not looking as healthy as one would have hoped um, well, frankly, I do not think um, you see any major shift from the turn of the uh, of the from the f from the turn of the meeting. Um, I do not think, uh, even though the inflation has risen, um, we must recall that um, the central bank did me uh, mention that they expect some. Um, transitory eff effect of um, the foil price increase to come into the inflation in the coming month. I think um, it hasn't gotten to the level he mentioned that might be a deal breaker. Um, so I really overall, I do not think that you get any major shift from uh, what the MPC term will be. But um, sometimes in, in probability, you might just adopt a wait and see approach on that.